wits. Let's go. Hello, everybody. My name is Nathan, and here today we are going to be checking out Beast's Ribbon. All right, guys. So Ribbon is um Beast's second title track that they're releasing from their newest album. Yes, guys. Sad to say, this is Beast's first album that they've ever made without Hyun Sung in it. My emotions for that will be described as some other time. But if you guys want me to know, just ask me in the comment section down below. I'll be great to have a discussion with you. But let's not focus on the negative things right now. Let's focus on Beast's comeback. So guys, Beast is back again. I've been hearing around that this is another ballad track. To be completely honest here, I'm not really a big fan of ballad songs. It's not really my style, but Beast was my first bias group, so I have to support them in everything that they do. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, Beast's Ribbon in three, two, one. Okay, so what do we got here? <sighs> Five members. <sighs> that hurts. It's okay. Let's keep let's keep going along here. All right. So I he has a key. There's a photo booth on top of a helipad. Hey, Kikwang. Oh, I hear that subtle violin. Sounds um very mature, if you ask me. Oh, he just smashed a perfectly good clock. Alright, Jun Hyung. Hey, them hips. That subway set looks really familiar. It kind of reminds me of um, that one uh, scene during BAP's one shot a couple years ago. Hey, Dong Woon. Dong Woon's vocal range is actually very impressive. Like, if you think about his vocals, how it's usually very low, he, can, he actually has one of the widest vocal ranges in Beast. Hey, the BAP carousel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sure, I'm sure it has nothing to do with that, with that music video either. But it just it's just very reminiscent of the time. Okay, so they're finding a bunch of artifacts in these um in these lockers. Is that meaning something? A carousel and a teddy bear. Crush clock antique. Just appreciate Jun Hyung's rapping. Yes, Do Jun, work it. Mm. <laughs> Even in the darkest times, you just have to smile. Oh, hello. It's an outfit on the carousel. Interesting. I mean, like, I think there's some symbolism going on here, but I'm not 100% sure what they all mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? I mean, he was smiling, but it just, it just has him as a straight face the entire time. Whoa, okay, that is creepy. That is creepy. If I were to open up a locker, I would just run away. I would just run away if I see a, I saw a hand coming at me from the darkness. Oh, you put a ring on it. A black rose. That's a symbol of death in most cultures. Don't wound, don't cry, bro. Oh no. Is he gonna set the whole thing on fire? A balloon? Whoa! So I'm a, I believe that this is all symbolism of their past. Wow! Whoa, what the? He's just phasing out. What?
Okay, time is going backward again. Oh no, please don't do it. Don't do it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, well done, Beast. Alright guys, so here we had Beast's Ribbon. So guys, like I said at the beginning of this reaction, um, I'm personally not a big fan of ballad music, but as always, Beast always knows how to pull off these kind of concepts that I'm usually not really interested in. I'm more personally into the hip-hop, rap, trap kind of a genre, but even though I wasn't bobbing my head as much to this song, I really enjoyed this music video. So throughout this entire music video, it seems that the members of Beast are looking at these past broken artifacts. We see Jun Hyung with the broken antique clocks. We see Gi Kwang in the subway station and he comes across these lockers and within each panel of these lockers he finds little trinkets, little toys, little antiques. Like he finds a teddy bear, he finds a little carousel figure, and then at the 3 minute 5 second mark he sees a hand reaching out to him from the darkness. I don't know about you, but if I see a hand coming at me from the darkness from the locker, I would probably just close the door and go start a run in. Yes, all joking aside, let's continue on here. We see Dong Woon with this car and it seems like he's writing some stuff on the car too. I can't really make out what he's writing there. We see Yosab at the carousel, and if you guys have been into K-pop for as long as I have, you guys just know that carousels are a sign of youth. They're usually meant to symbolize youth, your childhood. And lastly, we have Doojun in the photo booth on top of the helipad. He goes in there to take a couple of pictures of himself smiling, but when the photo strip comes out, it's all the same picture of him just having like a straight up mug face. That could be a symbol of fake smiling, like you try to smile on the outside, but in the inside you really feel terrible. I totally know how he feels. But yes guys, each individual member of Beast has their own storyline going throughout this entire music video. And then at the end of the music video, we find the resulting end for all these members. With Yosab, he is kind of wrapped in this string from this balloon that he was carrying. And it shows him like phasing out of existence, kind of like Gaster from Undertale. Dong Woon's car explodes into flames, Gi Kwang stares into the darkness, all the clocks in Jun Hyung's scene goes in reverse, meaning time is going backwards or he's reminiscing. And for the most unfortunate end of this music video, video, Do Jun furthers on jumps off the helipad, dropping down to his death. Each member has their own storyline going on in this music video, and I can say that this entire video is so beautiful. I really like this mature sound coming from Beast, and no matter what type of sound Beast comes out with, they always manage to make a really good dance that goes along with it. I mean, like, this is new ground for me, I don't really have much to say about the dance. In the good way though, it looks really mature for Beast, and it really fits along with the song as well. Alright guys, so what do you all think about Beast's Ribbon? Let me know in the comment section down below. Alright guys, that's my time. My name is Nathan, SYJ Official. Until then, see you guys next time. Bye.